Yo, we're ready to start Shane's favorite segment with his favorite guest and his favorite entrant in the Royal Rumble, the Shane Helm segment. <laughs> Boom. Oh, how would you guys like that little bit of surprise for you? Real good. Oh, I super popped. I want to I want to talk about something. I want to appreciate. It. Hey man, hold up. First of all, did you see Big Lebowski? <laughs> Not yet. Oh. Hey, shut the hell up. I ain't even talking to you no more. This whole no, no, thing is done. <laughs> Here's what I want to talk about. I right. want to talk about how you were sort of like teasing everybody, uh, if you give it, in retrospect, that you were, might have been part of the Rumble based on your you were you were kept posting on Instagram like Rumble spots. Uh, you were you always kept referring to it as your favorite pay per view, even in private text messages and stuff. Everything. How long ago did you uh? How long did you know you were going to be on it? Well, I do, I, actually, I do that every year with the Rumble. <laughs> Do you really? Say, yeah, because you know, I think for a while, Shane, because yeah. I only I, I only saw one tweet and it was or a couple of tweets, but it was on the same thing. I think you kept asking if you uh, like you were kind of like um, um, putting your hat into the thing, into the fray uh, to be the GM. Oh, the two or five live thing. Yeah. 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 That one went that that pick went pretty viral. And I think that's why, the, um, you know, stuff like that just gets people interest. But that was just me. You know, I like to use social media to have fun, and I thought, hey, right. man, that'll be a fun pick to put up, you know, especially right. with the Cruiserweight titles and all like that. And then, you know, it it picked up a lot of traffic, and, uh, you know, I got the call, uh, you know, a, a little while later after that. So, How you know, long ago? Because I want to compare your call to Ray's, because Ray's was pretty recent. Yeah, it, 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 was, it was relatively recent. You know, yeah, but yeah. I, they had that list out, you know, I, I, I've kind of been on the short list for a while. Yeah, uh, to, to do to do an appearance, and but you know for whatever reasons, uh, you know last last couple of years they didn't really do a lot. Uh, I know last year's they really didn't anyway, but uh, they wanted to do more surprises, you know, because the women's uh, rumble had a lot of surprises, so they won't. And I think there actually was going to be another one that didn't pan out as far as the men's surprise. But um, man, we jumped through hoops to keep it a super surprise, um, right? You know, because. Uh, you know, I don't want to get a long. I know how disco hates for my segment to go long, but um, the uh, when we found out, you know, uh, my woman Karen's like, "Oh God, I, I I'm going to this because she's never seen me in WWE." You know, we got together after WWE, and right. uh, I'm like, "Oh baby, you know, it's, uh, I'm gonna have to really because they flew me into Newark, not right. Philly, and then they right. sent a car to get me, and you know, so they they they're going out of their way to keep this super secret secretive too, you know. So, um, you got to do your um, part. Yeah, I got to do my part because if it gets out that I'm there and it's right. my fault, I'm right. gonna look like a jackass. You know what I mean? Right. And um, so of course I got to keep playing along with the social media thing, which I was doing anyway, and I was going to do. So I had to, but now I got to be a little bit more, you know, strategic with what I post. But Karen went. She bought her own plane plane ticket. She's because I'll, I'll just get there myself. Bought her right. own shit. Right. <laughs> well, Lord, then she bought a wig, bro. A dark yeah. ass wig. <laughs> She can go sit in the stands, bought a wig, bought a ticket to the show off of StubHub because it sold out. So we go to the airport. We like, you know, in disguise, hat, hoodie. I got a scarf wrapped around my face. You know, we're kind of scoping out the scene to see if there's any wrestling fans. There's not. Uh, so we're, we're good. In Newark, we don't walk together because Karen stands out anyway. Right. So even if people might not see me at first, they're going to see her tall, blonde ass. And then they might see me by retrospect. So we go to baggage claim separately. We get to the hotel on the shuttle, you know, uh, kind of separately. Um, and anyway, and then she took an Uber to uh, Philly because she couldn't ride with me in the limo because, like I said, we didn't know what the deal was. And uh, But we got, a, we got her to the uh, – when she took the Uber, they took her down the ramp and nobody saw her. So she got on the bus because we were hit on the bus for a couple hours. Uh, right. One of those big tour buses. But it's a luxury. It's a luxury bus, so. You know, we were kind of very comfortable. So the the end of the ticket, she ended up giving to uh, uh, the Uber driver. You know, right. so uh, getting a little calmer her way. But uh, so when we they finally snuck me and Ray in the building, man, like the boys were popping, which was such a good feeling. You know, the guys all running up, hugging us, and we got the double pop because hey, it's Ray, hey, it's Hurricane. Like everybody was like super excited, you know, and that's awesome. Yeah, that, that that is such a good feeling, man. Because like some of the young guys, you don't know, because you see you see how it is on social media. Like these days, with the young guys and the older right. guys all bitching at each other, you don't know which ones are cool. Yeah, and they come yeah, yeah. up and they're all cool. And you know, Finn Balor coming up to me is like, man, I like he's a he goes, brother, you paved the way. You know, saying yeah. stuff like that when he doesn't right. have to, man. Like I love right. it. You know, 
Yeah. And two, like I said, then, you know, just the spot going off like it did because you want to get that pop and you're hoping you get that pop. And, you know, you got a little bit of confidence like, all right, you know, they're going to be excited to see me. But for it to come off the way it did and right. to be that loud and right. like, I couldn't Plus, hear my bro, music. What a good crowd hear, to be. Yeah. What a good crowd to be over in front of, right? Philly crowd. Because yeah. when they yeah. love you, it's on. And when they don't, as when Cena came out again, he found out. But uh, that, bro, that pop was incredible. It was, bro, I popped for the pop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, thank you. And it was after Cena, too. Yeah. And so that's a that's a hard pop after his because he's going to, yeah. you know, whether it was it's the yay or the boo, his pop is still thunderous. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so the pop after that, by comparison, that's gonna that that'll tell you something. And like yeah. I couldn't hear I couldn't hear my music out there, and I think that's the first time it ever happened. Right. When I came out, it was so loud I could not hear my damn music. Yeah. Right. If you see like, uh, like the crowd shot videos, that's exactly you just hear stand back, and then you don't hear the music at all because it's so loud. Yes, I mean. How about Philly, disco? Philly. How about how about disco? Instead of congratulating you, he just tries to bury you with the Corey Graves thing. I mean, that's how disco is, you know. Yeah. Uh, the only way you can bring somebody down is if you're looking up to him. So he has there to look up to me. That's the only way he can bring me down. First of all, let me make a very, a very <laughs> clear point here. I told you guys I missed it for one thing. Right, right. Okay? And I was just telling him because, like, I maybe he was going to be able to see Corey Graves in the hotel or something after the show. I wanted to smarten him up. I was wondering, wondering why Corey Graves would bury him. Right. Well, it's not hey, that, I think he's he's kind of a heel commentator. He kind of buries all the yeah. baby faces. I don't know if you've ever watched the show or not. He, he just does, wants you to recreate the bad will fight. Yeah. Hey, we actually used that line on the Patreon show last night, Shane. And you know yeah. what Conan referred to it as the Bagley fight. <laughs> the Bagley? That's, That's my that. Iranian accent. Yeah. That still works. That still works. Yeah. <laughs> right. Bro, but how no, but awesome, but can I ask you one question, because I asked Ray this. I, I want, how awesome was it to go back there, meet all the young guys that you hadn't met before, and the sh and the respect they show you, because I ran into the same thing, bro. I ran into them when uh, Impact was in Nashville a couple months ago, yeah. and ran into the Raw crew, and Are half of them, I actually walked with Elias. Can you believe that? Down the streets oh, of Nashville. Shit. Oh shit! Man. Shit's on. Yeah. Oh shit's on now. <laughs> yeah. So it was the Raw crew, right? Which yeah. a lot of them I'd never met. You know, Strowman and Sasha and like all those people, and they were all super, super cool. So yeah, it's always nice because you don't know how the young cats are gonna react. But the other part, how great, you know, was it to go and you see, see Tori and Lita and um, uh, Vicky and you know, like a family reunion. You know, Ray. Bro, we popped so huge for Vicky Guerrero, man. Like, yeah. It's QZ. Hello. For Vicky Guerrero, man. Like, yeah. I'm gonna say, you, you know, I tweeted that just show. Excuse every, me. Everybody's back there just cracking up, you know, mm -hmm. man. She did. She did. Some of some of the girls do. There's a lot of cool moments in that thing, too. In that, uh, that women's battle royal, too. You know, I didn't get to see the whole show, some of the matches in between. I saw no. bits and pieces of the Brock thing, and then I uh, was getting distracted. They wanted, I was doing the photo shoots and these little videos and stuff, so they kind of. They got the money out of me for that day's work. You know? That's one thing, Shane, w one thing that I wanted to bring up that Ray brought up. He couldn't believe, and of course, with the networks and everything that they're doing now, he couldn't believe how many cameras there were everywhere recording everything. Yeah, yeah. And like every, and I'd go over to a little corner and like kind of start, you know, doing my little dance. You know, you know how you start prepping yourself for the, to go out. And yeah. next thing I know, there's cameras there and like, you know, I'm not used to that. I thought right. like these guys about to, they about to film some shit. Do I need to get out of the way? And like, yeah. no, they're just filming. They're just filming me. So you know, right. uh, they're really on top of everything. And then you know, people come up and they say, like, "Hey, I'm with the social media. I need a picture of you." And I'm like, "Hey, man, you can't put put this out. I'm not. I'm a surprise." And like right. that was when I was still here. And he's like, "No, I know. You know, we got it. Don't worry Shane. about it." Like they're really on top of everything. But it's it just sounds deal. enjoyable, bro. That you had a great time, which is the most important part. Did, did any of the guys there ask uh, for you to say hi to me? <laughs> you were never, you were never, the, actually, you were mentioned that one time. Huh. And it was like, uh -oh. I, they said, I love how disco's always wrong. Yes. <laughs> who said that? I want to know who said that. Hey, man, you know, don't worry about it. Man. All the Samoans, go, go ask them about it. The, Samoan, the Samoans, the Samoans uh, do uh, enjoy you being uh, wrong all the time. But, yeah. I'm uh, not wrong. 
No, a lot of people listen to the show, though. They they do, you know. They, it was mentioned several times. Uh, the boys listen to the podcast. Who listens? Who listens to the show? Huh? Shane, who listens? Who listens to the show? Now you want to know who listens to the show so that you won't bury him now, or I might bury. Let me tell you, somebody that you gotta keep a hundred, man. You gotta bury or not bury, no matter who. Yeah, I, I, bro, I'm not gonna compromise my. I, I'm gonna be completely keep it one hundred all the time. You know me. You completely compromise at the drop of a hat. Shane, I would, 